And if we are being honest with ourselves, we have to admit that these kind of challenges aren't just limited to the developing world. For example, where we have made tremendous strides in girls' education in the United States and Japan, women, women in both our countries still struggle to balance the needs of their families with the demands of their careers. We still struggle with the, with the outdated belief that a woman cannot be both an accomplished professional and a devoted mother that she has to choose between the two. But the reality is that but the reality is that we put limits like this on women's lives. We stifle their potential. More importantly, we miss out on so much of what they have to offer our, our societies. And for me, that's where this issue gets personal. See, I grew up in working class neighborhood, a place where I hardly anyone went to university. And many people worked long hours. Many people worked long, long hours for low salaries. She has to, uh, she struggled to pay their bills. As a young girl, I was bright. I was bright, out day, uh, outgoing, with plenty of thought and opinions of my own. But like young women, but like young women, I was often primarily uh, defined by my relationship to the men in my life. I was my father's daughter. Or even though I was as smart as my brother, uh, I could hit the ball just as far. I could run fast. I could run just as fast. Uh, I was always uh, his little sister.